Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Laura. Take a guess what we're going to be talking about today. That's right, we're going to be talking about sensational sharks. Do you love sharks? Most people are kind of afraid of sharks. And I find that sometimes the more that we know about something, the less afraid we become. So let's take some time today to learn about sharks. Did you know that there are over 500 species of sharks? Some sharks are small, like the dwarf lantern shark. You should look that one up. The biggest fish in the sea is actually the whale shark. And sharks, like many of the marine animals that we've talked about over the past weeks, have been around longer, way before the dinosaurs. Sharks, in fact, were around, 400, were around 445 million years ago. But over that time, they've actually changed a lot. So we use a lot of their very unique characteristics to identify sharks. First off, we use the shape of their fins. The dorsal fin is one of the first things that we see on a shark, if we're not scuba diving. And so that tells us a lot about what kind of shark it is. And then we look at the position of the dorsal fin. How close is it to this pectoral fin? In some sharks, the dorsal fin's back here, far away from the pectoral fin, and others, like this tiger shark, it's up close to the pectoral fin. We also look at the shape of the tail. Each one of the species has a very distinct tail. There's a shark called a thrasher shark that has a real long tail on the top. Very, very unique when you see it. And then finally, we look at a shark's teeth. Shark's teeth are very unique. As you know, they grow in rows and they grow forever. They never stop growing. And the type of teeth that they have depends on their diet. If they're a big carnivore eating big fish or lots of meat, they have big, sharp, tearing teeth. If they eat smaller things like crabs and shrimp, they have more of a, a smooth, sandpaper-like grinding teeth. Speaking of sandpaper, the skin of the shark actually feels like sandpaper. If you've ever gotten to pet one uh, at an aquarium or anything, instead of scales, sharks have something called denticles. And these small scale-like structures make them very hydrodynamic so they can quickly move through the water. Do you know what the fastest shark is? The fastest shark is actually a mako shark and mako sharks can swim up to 45 miles an hour. So that's pretty fast. Well, with all those teeth, what do sharks normally eat? Well, as you know, they're an apex predator. They're typically at the top of the food chain. So of course they eat mermaids. Just kidding. No, they eat other fish, including other sharks. They eat octopus, crabs, shrimp, a lot of fish. They will eat sea turtles, um, snakes, snails, basically whatever they can find. And how they find it is sharks use a special adaptation called chemoreception. Uh, and this is their ability to smell and taste. They can sense when an animal is in distress. Uh, they have a line, a, a, the lateral line that goes down the side of their body that gives them signals if a distressed animal is nearby. And then they can actually smell blood and other bodily fluids. And um, they, some have actually very good eyesight, but some sharks in deeper water don't have very good eyesight. So the vision varies depending on where their habitat is. And then finally, their last sense they have is they do have internal ears, so they can hear things underwater. As the apex predator, this guy is very important to ecosystems. Over the years, their populations have dwindled uh, because of the popularity of something called shark's fin soup. Uh, in Asia, people have a belief that if they eat shark's fin soup, it will make them strong and it'll boost up their immune systems. And so many sharks have been harvested just for the fin uh, without even eating the rest of the, the shark. They have also been victims of habitat habitat degradation like many of the animals that we've talked about. So it's important for us to know about sharks and protect sharks because they are actually good for the ecosystem. 
Some people are afraid of sharks, but if you look at the statistics, you only have about a 1 in 3.5 million, 1 in 3.5 million chance of dying, getting eaten or bitten by a shark. Where for fireworks, you have a 1 in 350,000 chance of dying from fireworks. So when you go out to the ocean next time, look for some sharks. Respect the sharks and, and learn more about them. But watch out for those fireworks. Thanks again. This is Dr. Laura tuning out.